welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a video on something that has been highly requested on my channel I get this comment under every single video that I upload what brushes do you use so I'm gonna go through my brush collection just show you guys briefly what I use for different parts of my face different makeup and also I'm gonna show you how I clean them I'm just gonna go through just a couple of brushes and show you guys how I clean them what's the best products to use I do have a lot of brushes so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I'm going to go through my brushes by different collections that I have, which is quite a few, but we'll get through it. Okay, so it's, it's storming outside right now, so if you hear some rain, some thunder, don't be alarmed. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to start off with this first collection right here. This is the main brushes that I use. This is a set of 10 brushes, and I got these off Amazon, and they're really good quality. Everyone always asks what brushes these are because they look like they're really good quality. I keep dropping brushes, oh my goodness. Um, everyone always asks what brushes these are because they look like they're really good quality, and they are good quality. These, if I'm not mistaken, are the exact same brushes that BH Cosmetics uses, but they just put the little BH symbol on them I swear they're the exact same ones I think they're on sale on BH for like $21 or something and on Amazon they're like 10 or 15 which saves you a little bit of money on Amazon all you do to find these is just type in premium synthetic kabuki brushes and you will get these so I'll go through which ones come in the set you get one that looks like this I use this one right here for my foundation and I'm really OCD with brushes. I have a lot of brushes because I like to use them for different foundations, different eyeshadows, different kind of things. I don't like to use the same foundation brush for all my foundations. I just, I, I get OCD. I feel like that's unsanitary. So this one is what I usually use for my Lancome foundation and I use this today for my Lancome foundation. This one right here, this little domed one. This one I usually use for like a nose contour. It's really pointy at the top. This angled one, I usually use this for my drugstore foundations. It's really good. I usually use it for my Maybelline Fit Me or for my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This flat top one, I usually use for my Becca foundation. And then these two right here, I used in my high-end full coverage makeup routine. These are what I usually use for my cream contour. Like this would be under my eyes and this would be like my contour part around here. So this would be highlight and this would be contour. I use these right here to set my under eye concealer. You can use them for like eyeshadow or something and they are dirty right now because I'm going to show you guys how I wash them. But I usually use these for concealer. This one is angled and I usually use this one for just to pat right under my eyes. And then I either use this one or this one to blend it out afterwards. And this one right here, I don't, I don't really use this one. It just kind of looks like a smaller flat top brush, but I haven't used it. I used to use it for a nose contour just to shade the sides just like this, but I started using the other one instead when I use my cream products. So I don't know, I don't really have a use for this yet, but I'll find something for it. So this is that entire collection, and like I said, you can go on Amazon, type in Premium Synthetic Kabuki Brushes on Amazon, and you will find these brushes. And of course, I will link everything down below for you guys so you can easily access them. Okay, and moving on to the next collection, I'm going to show you the e.l.f. brushes that I have. I only have a few of these right here, just a couple of them, so I'll go through this collection. This is the e.l.f. blush brush, and this is one of my favorites. I don't use it for blush, I use it for right under my eyes, just right here, just to blend in my powders. So I'll use my um, highlight powders right here, just to set those down my nose, and right here and right here. I use this because it just fits so perfectly in this area and it just gets right there on the side of your nose in those areas where it's like hard to reach with some regular brushes. So this is one of my favorites for that. This brush right here is a small stipple brush. I had the travel set collection which is this right here for when I travel. But I don't really use this one anymore. I used to use this for my NARS tinted moisturizer, but usually if I use my NARS tinted moisturizer, I just rub it in with my hands. But if I want more coverage with this, I'll just use this. And this is a small stipple brush. When I use my cream products that are drugstore, like my NYX contour stick, I use this one. I'll use this one for the highlight shade under my eyes. And then I have the bigger version, which is just regular, and I'll use this one for the contour part around my face. And then I also have an e.l.f. angled blush brush, and I just showed you guys this in my strobing video. I use this for my highlight, just because I feel like it just dusts it off so easily. I can just put the powder right at the tip and just go straight in like this, right over the top of my lips, on my chin, on my forehead like that. And it just hits those spots so easily, so I really like this brush. 
these two also came with the little travel set that I was talking about and this one is for eyeshadow and I use this for the inner corners of my eyes and right on the top of my lip right here and around here when I want to highlight the cupid's bow and this one is just a tapered stippling brush from elf and I just use this one when I'm traveling just to blend out any shadow right here because it's perfect to get right in that crease right there if you want to blend any colors out but I haven't used this one in a while which is why it is so clean as well and the last brush that I have from elf this is the elf smudge brush it's really little and has a flat top like that and I'll use this to just pack color on right in my lash line right there or in my waterline. I use it today in my lash line because I put some black shadow on before I put on my eyelashes. So now moving on to the next collection, I have a couple of crown brushes right here. I went to Beautycon in Dallas in March and they had a giant crown brush display. So I grabbed as many as I could before the whole thing got into a whole mess because it was like a big mess there. But um, I got this brush holder from them, and I really like it a lot. It's kind of dirty, as you can see. But I put my foundation brushes on this side, and my little eyeshadow brushes on this side. So this is really convenient, and I love it so much. So I'll show you the brushes that I use. And remember, they are dirty. I'm showing you guys how to clean them after. So this is a Crown Round Angle Blender Brush, this one right here. And I love it so much. I usually take my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and blend that out right under my eyes. And I love this a lot. It really blends it really well. And it blends it really fast because it's really dense. So we can pick up product if you use too much and just blend it out and make it look really, really smooth. And this one right here, this little orange one, I usually use this for my concealer under my eyes. I use this for my NYX Dark Circle Concealer or for my Anastasia Cream Contour Concealer, the warm coral color that I always use. And I'll just put that right under my eyes right there. So that's why it looks a little orange because I use it for my orange concealer. Oh, and this is called an Oval Concealer Brush. This is an Angle Liner Brush right here. And I use this one for under my eyebrows when I am cleaning them up with concealer and I use it at the top of my eyebrows like that as well that's the purpose of this one and this brush right here I actually have not used but it's just an angle liner brush it's C463 and I would use this one for like gel or cream eyeliner colors I'm so in love with crown brushes and they're really inexpensive so I want to get some more of these and moving on to Sonia Kashuk brushes these are the brushes that I use from Sonia Kashuk and I'm going to show you this collection right here first because everyone always asks me, where do I get these green brushes? A year ago or two, she came out with these Make a Face brushes. This is called the Make a Face Collection. And I got these online from Target, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they're still there, but she does have a ton of collections and tons of different style brushes like these. So this one is just a plain flat top brush. I usually use this brush for my Estee Lauder foundation. This one right here, this little domed one, I usually use it for right under my eyes, right here, right here, just anywhere where I'm going to put my highlight colors. This one right here is for my contour, this flat one right here, and this is my favorite brush. I use it all the time just for right under my lip and right here and right here just to define my contour lines just a little bit more. And this is just a plain powder brush. This one right here, this is the Sonia Kashuk number 123. It's a blush brush, but of course I don't use it for blush. I use it for my contour colors just to start warming it up right around my forehead and on my cheeks right here. And I use it for my nose contour because if you recently watched my night out makeup routine, you saw that I am very lazy with my nose contour as of lately. I just pinch it and just go like that right on the sides of my nose and it's perfect. And this one right here is a Sonia Kashuk Tools number four brush. I really love the handle. It's so, it's so different. I like it. So I used to use this one for foundation. I've used it for my Becca foundation, I think in my Rihanna tutorial that I did a while back. But it's really hard to blend foundation with this brush because it's not very dense. Like the brushes don't spread out in much direction and I like to spread on my foundation right here and then blend it out from the center and it's really hard to do that with this brush so I have not used it in a really long time it's still a great brush just for the purposes of how I apply my makeup I don't really like it too much but they're also really great so next for singles brushes just brushes that I have like one out of each set so this first one is from Sigma this is a 3d HD precision brush 
and I love this brush so much. I talked about this in my very first contour video. I think it might have been like my third video on my channel. And I talked about how it's so easy just to, like if you mess up on your nose contour, just to like dip this in your highlight color and just go right along the side just to fix it or just straight down your nose just to make that highlight pop a little bit more. But it just has these different angles on it that makes it so easy for you to get in those little spots in the corners that you can't really get with regular brushes. So I love this brush so much and I highly recommend this one. This next brush is from Coastal Sense. I think it's just a plain um, like shadow brush, but it's kind of domed as you can see. I use it for my powder nose contour. I'll just take this and just go right along the sides and right up here, like y'all know how I usually contour, but this is the brush that I usually use for my contour and it's a Coastal Sense brush and it's the only Coastal Sense brush that I own. And then this is a MAC 208 brush, the only MAC brush that I own as well. I got this one a really long time ago and it's still really, really great. I use this one to fill in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. Or I use this for my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. This brush is amazing and I highly recommend this one as well. Like I said, this is the only one I have from MAC. So if you get no other brush from MAC, I highly recommend this one for your eyebrows. So next I wanted to talk about these Eco Tools brushes from Walgreens. I know that most people just pass these up and be like, oh, those are so cheap. These brushes are actually not that bad. Once I was out of town and I forgot my brushes and I just went ahead and picked these up. They're really not that bad. I used to use this one for my highlight colors right here. This one I use for my NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I'll just dip that in the pot and put it right under my eyes. So I use this one a lot. And out of the collection for this one, I just use this one right here to accentuate that little dip that I have right in between my lips right there, just to accentuate that when I contour. And I used to use this little one all the time for blending out my eyeshadow the transition shade and I might still use it I don't know because my brushes are kind of dirty and I don't know if I feel like washing every single one so who knows I still might use this one I don't really use these other ones ever these four right here really aren't bad and these come in a set and they were like I would say no more than 12 or something um, at the most but these right here are really good so if you're ever like in a rut and you really need some brushes and you do not have that much money Eco Tools brushes are not bad and for my last collection I have Mary Kay brushes I'm not gonna talk about these too much because I don't know if you can get Mary Kay brushes without finding someone who sells them and not everybody sells Mary Kay brushes so I'll just run through them really quickly I just have a blush brush right here this is the one that I use for my contour because of course I don't really contour my face I just kind of warm it up so I'll just go all over my face with this big brush and all over my chin area my jawline area to define it and of course these are brushes that you can find anywhere they don't have to be Mary Kay this brush right here I usually use just to accentuate my cut crease or to just blend a darker color in my crease area this is just a flat shadow brush that you can get from Mary Kay and this one right here is just a pencil brush and I use this right under my eyes and this one also is just a plain foundation brush I don't really use this to use my foundation anymore but if I have like a face product that is in a pot or something and I don't want to use my fingers I'll just dip this in there and put this all over my face so if you're like a germaphobe like I am then you can use this for your face products as well so that is it for my brush collection I also wanted to mention that I have this cup right here this was like seven dollars from H&M and I use this to store my brushes just to put them like out on the sink um, I can't fit all of them in there so I do put some of them in different storage areas like this right here and then I have another brush holder but this is really good like if you just want to pick up cups like this um, you can get them at like Target or something you know just a plain cup so those are all my brushes and I'm going to show you how I clean them in just a few so today to wash my brushes, I'm going to be using the Purity Face Wash from Philosophy and a little bit of virgin olive oil. And when I say a little, I mean just a little bit. And I'm going to use some toilet paper just to wipe my hands off, wipe my brushes off. You can use paper towels, but I didn't have any around, so I'm using toilet paper. But be careful with this because it's meant to break up and you don't want it to break up on your brushes. So I'm going to take a little bit of that Purity and that olive oil and stir that around in this Tupperware container of hot water. Well, it's like lukewarm, it's not too hot. And I'm going to take a brush and just start stirring that in there. And that's going to start cleaning it and conditioning it. That's gonna be the beginning steps of how I clean my brushes. 
So then I'm going to take some more of the purity and I put that on my hand. And I dip the brush in the water again and just start swirling that on my hands until most of the concealer or whatever's in the brush, the makeup comes out. And then I wipe that off my hands and wipe the brush on the toilet paper just to start getting some of that makeup out. And it cleans it very well. And this takes a few tries to do, but it works and it's really effective for a really good deep clean. And I'm just showing you guys how it works on bigger brushes as well. And you want to change your water before you do this because, of course, more foundation is going to make for more messy water. But it works the exact same and it takes a little bit longer, but that's how I wash them. So these are the brushes that I washed for this video and I just wanted to show you guys how squeaky clean they look now. And what I usually do is just take a towel, a paper towel or just toilet paper and lay them out all flat so they don't touch each other and just over the edge of like a desk or a table or something so that they dry completely. And this usually takes like a full day, especially for these big foundation brushes like this. I will not wash my brushes unless I know that I'm like not about to do my makeup the next morning or anything like that because they take a very long time to dry. I think that air drying is the best way to do it and they'll be nice and soft from all of the olive oil and the purity face wash that we used. So this is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the brushes that I used and enjoyed my techniques for washing them and I want to know what brushes do you guys use and how do you clean your brushes. I do plan on expanding my collection. There's so many more brushes from different brands that I want to try so let me know what you guys do so that I can pick up some tips and tricks from you guys. As usual, all products will be listed and linked in the description bar below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.